Hello everyone, I'm Everything Fantasy, and welcome to another Music Breakdown, a series where we deconstruct a piece of music from a game, and really try and understand how the composer was able to recreate the feelings and emotions that we experience when we're playing the game. And for this time, I thought we'd analyse Pursuit Cornered from Ace Attorney, one of the most iconic themes in, across the entire series, and arguably the unofficial theme of Phoenix Wright. Now, the question is, why is this the case? Is it because of some kind of nostalgia we attach to playing the first game for the first time and hearing that amazing theme? Or is there something inherent in the music itself which creates this feeling of heroicism and justice being served? Let's talk about it. But firstly, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and check out my Patreon and Discord if you're interested. By popular demand, I'll be uploading my compositions and arrangements to Spotify once either the channel hits 5,000 subscribers or I've reached 20 patrons so your support would be much appreciated. Let's begin by talking a little bit about context, because context is important in terms of how the piece was created and why it was created in that way. So imagine you're an attorney dealing with a very difficult murder case. You know your defendant didn't commit the crime, but the case seems so one-sided. But all of a sudden, you find that one small contradiction in the witness's testimony, and you pursue it. You know, if you pursue this one contradiction, you'll be able to take this case over the line and pursue the case for the defendant. And that's exactly what the piece Pursuit Cornered serves. You've cornered the witness and you're on the edge of winning this case. And so the piece of music we hear during that scenario is Pursuit Cornered. So let's summarize that piece of music. The key signature is a consistent F minor throughout. The time signature is also a consistent 4-4, four, four, meaning that there are four crotchet beats or quarter notes in a bar. The tempo is around 150 beats per minute, also known as molto allegro or very swift slash very fast. And in terms of the feelings that's created when we're experiencing this music in game, it's feelings of intensity, high energy, excitement, and liveliness. The two key themes across the entire piece are hero and justice. You are the hero, Phoenix Wright, and justice is being served. And musically, that's achieved for a number of devices. But before we go on to that, usually I like to talk about structure, because structure is inherently important in terms of how the piece creates its feeling. But in this case, the structure is quite simplistic. We start with an introduction, where we hear the syncopated, fast-paced quavers and semi-quavers of the bells and the bass. Syncopation is a really important word when it comes to this piece of music, and it's something that I'll come back to later. The second section is where we hear the melody for the first time, that heroic, soaring-sounding melody line, supplemented by an incredible harmony. Thirdly, we have an adjusted repeat of the introduction again. And fourthly, we have the second part of the melody, almost closing off the entire piece before it loops again. So given the fairly simple structure, I think it's better to analyse this piece of music as a series of layers, a series of instruments which stack upon each other to create this overall feeling and excitement. Now, in order to describe layers, I think it's best to look at this as a cake. First of all, we have the bottom layer, in this case the rhythm section, so the bass and the drums. At the top layer, we have the main melody, and in the middle layer, or the second tier of this cake, we have the harmony and the additional rhythms which supplement both the bass line and the melody. Firstly, let's talk about the bottom layer, the underlying rhythmic instruments which provide a pulse throughout the entire piece. And that pulse is very consistent and important. I'd argue that without that pulse, the entire piece falls apart. So in terms of the drum kit, we have three instruments here. We have the kick, the snare, and the hi-hat. The kick plays a consistent four crotchet beats a bar throughout the entire piece, and this provides a very steady rhythmic pulse. Any more, the piece would sound too chaotic and too fast, but if it were any less, the piece would sound somewhat inconsistent, slower, and less impactful. 
Secondly, we have this snare drum, which provides a very steady pulse on the accented beats of the bar throughout the entire piece. Very predictable, and given the striking nature of a snare drum, I think this is quite important. But thirdly, and arguably most importantly, we have the hi-hats, which play a syncopated rhythm throughout the entire piece. A syncopated rhythm is when the notes appear off-beat. In the time signature 4-4, syncopation occurs where the notes fall in between the natural accents of that particular bar. The effect of this is that it creates excitement and liveliness. It stops the piece sounding so rigid and strict and creates this dynamic feel. It, hel it helps the flow of the entire piece. And that's one of the things that contributes to this heroic feeling, that feeling of intensity, but also liveliness at the same time. Both the bass line and the bells at the beginning incorporate this syncopation. In fact, the bass line takes us even further by incorporating syncopation throughout the entire piece. And that combined with the hi-hat create this underlying pulse of the piece. And I think it's one of the most important things that creates this feeling of liveliness, heroicism, and justice. Now don't get me wrong, the rhythmic section or the bottom layer is very important in creating the overall tone and rhythm. But we shouldn't forget about the inherent heroic nature of the melody itself, both in terms of the underlying chords and the way it's structured. We start with a more sorrowful F minor. It feels like we're losing the case. We're going to lose this. Then we move to a more hopeful A-flat major. Following this, we have a more powerful D-flat major. We're reaching justice. And finally, we end on an E-flat major, feeling like we're resolving this case and we're on the edge of convincing the judge. Additionally to this, the phrases themselves sound heroic. It's something which is very distinct compared to the pursuit themes of Ace Attorneys 2 and 3. Which makes sense because they're trying to achieve a completely different tone. But if we replace the melody with brass instruments, for example, it's very reminiscent of a superhero theme. Finally, let's talk about the middle layer, the core and substance across the entire piece. The thing that makes the piece sound so full and impactful. And I leave it till last because it's easier to explain the middle layer given the context of the bass and the top layer. There are two key elements of the middle layer. The first is that fast syncopated phrase we hear throughout the entire piece, which mimics the bass line as well. But it's important to note that that phrase is often chromatic as well. The term chromatic is something I mentioned in my previous music breakdown of Ikirosha from Danganronpa. It's where notes fall outside of the key signature, and that helps to create this level of intensity by establishing tension. This can be seen if we compare a chromatic version of that phrase versus a non-chromatic version. The second element of the middle layer are the phrases and harmonies which accompany the main melody. They act as ways of supplementing and enhancing the melody as well. But crucial to this is the fact that the harmony often falls within a perfect fifth. A perfect fifth invokes feelings of cheerfulness, power, excitement, almost homeliness as well. All of these layers combined create something which is one of the most iconic most impactful pieces across the entire Ace Attorney. Now, I only finished the trilogy last year, so I don't have a childhood attachment to the, the entire series, but still to this day, Pursuit Cornered is the theme that stands out most for me. When I think of Phoenix Wright, I think of Pursuit Cornered. But is there a different piece that comes to mind for you? Make sure to leave a comment below, and if there's anything else you want me to break down, any pieces from Ace Attorney or any other series, make sure to leave a comment below. But as always, thanks a lot for watching. Take care.